Breakfast burrito time! Okay, I caught a specimen. I went downstairs to the leasing office and they're calling the pest control people for me. That's one of the nice things is that they're like a concierge so they actually even pay for it all. Pretty nice. Okay, so we had the pest control people just come and they stopped by. They said it's an Indian mule moth. And it said pretty much it's from all the food, which I threw away everything that was open. And yet, they're still here. See, look. Rah, there's like tons. They're in things that have never been opened before. They get in that too, so. I throw away everything that I bought that was sealed. Sucks. And buy some traps or something. That's what they said. I guess I'll do that today. So I've been taking very good care of my tank recently because everything's been not looking very happy. And when I checked, the water quality was super off, so. Now I'm keeping a close eye on everything. It looks like it'll slowly come back. The bubble coral looks like it came back already. If you look at it, even my blasto, it's getting super light colored, which means it's not healthy. So hopefully I'll color back up. So I said that I need to go and get a bug trap, so I'm gonna do that. They said I can get at Home Depot. I'm gonna drive there right now, really real fast, because I have to get back to work. Okay, made it to Home Depot. It's burning hot outside, like hundreds of degrees. Ah, oh, bug traps. It's like you can kill everything in sight. Okay, I think I got one of these. This one or that one? This one specifically says Indian mule moss, so. That just looks like a piece of paper inside. They can kill hornets. I wonder if they have one for tracker jackers. Boom, Hunger Games. Okay, I'm leaving the Home Depot. Got my bug trap here. Burn it outside, burn it. I haven't been outside for so long, so I've been working on my website so much. Him with the back shot, him with the took the bag, I him with the cap shot. I do it big, I him with the cap shot. I'm gonna ball, I him with the mascot. Okay, I ended up just getting this, which just basically looks like there's nothing inside of it. it looks like there's just two pieces of paper. What? That's it. Okay. Scary. There's so many bugs in here. Rah, they're all over. They're all over. Everywhere. They're all gonna die soon. Now I'm basically just cleaning everything out and throwing everything away. Boo. Okay, here's the lure, which I can't even smell. Okay, stuck to the side there. It's super sticky. Come over here to the trap. You bees in the trap. Be bees in the trap. There's so many, oh my gosh. What's going on? Okay, there's tons. I can see tons swarming by the trap, but none of them got stuck. Oh, one, two got stuck already. Okay, come on. I'm gonna set the second one. Oh, see, look how many there are. It's like all over the place. Go inside the trap. These flies are crazy. Die. Okay, head off to the gym. See you there. Hey, what's up? Driving off to see Monsters U. I'm so excited. I love Pixar movies, not of recent days, but most of them in the past I've loved. I have seen all Pixar movies. I've seen pretty much all of them in theaters. The only ones I have not seen in theaters were Cars and Cars 2, which I saw on Netflix. I'm not gonna break my Pixar streak yet. Or One Direction picture. <laughs> this movie doesn't look very good to me. First of all, a little bit of an introduction. I love Pixar. It's my favorite movie studio. I loved pretty much all of their movies, except for the last two that they had, which was Brave and Cars 2, which I just kind of liked. Actually, I didn't even really like Cars too much, unfortunately. And recently, I have been feeling a little bit worried about where Pixar is going, especially after Disney bought them. But I have to say that I really did enjoy Monsters University. It was definitely back to the old Pixar that I really loved. It didn't have as much heart as other Pixar movies, but it still did. I, th I still feel like it did have a very strong emotional impact. Really made me like Mike Wazowski. He's like my new hero now. He's just awesome. Which is one of the amazing things that Pixar can do is make characters that you just love so much. I did enjoy everything about it. It's not one of those prequels where you're just really 
waiting around for them to get to the point where you know where they're gonna go. This one actually made it really fun. I thought that the concept of monsters going to a university to learn scaring was definitely very unique and very clever. Pixar always finds a way to make their sequels appeal to the people who had originally watched them. For example, I grew up watching Toy Story when I was younger. Well, when Toy Story 3 came out, Andy was going to college. Well, us kids who had watched Toy Story before were also going to college. So we're like, oh, we can watch this. In that same way, when Monsters, Inc. came out, they somehow found a way to get people to college again. Because now, people who grew up with Monsters, Inc., they're going to college right now. This movie was hilarious. It was chock full of sight gags. I laughed so hard on so many of them. Especially liked when they were showing how the different characters would scare the kids. I thought that was just very clever. The movie is just visually beautiful, filling with pastel colors. Every single shot has thousands of things, visual treats. They do go into the real world, which I thought they did an amazing job animating that. I did have some small problems, but for the most part, I felt like Monsters University is definitely a big thumbs up. So my final rating for Monsters U out of four stars is three and a half. Definitely on back on the right track, Pixar. Okay, are we ready to go on a putty break? Yeah, putty? That's a chick magnet. She trains her. She trains her. Going on a potty break. Potty break. Yeah? Potty break? Behind the movie theaters? <laughs> Laps. Come on, Billy. We're running, running, we're running, we're running, running, running dog. Yeah, it's so hot outside. I can't even like run. Look at how beautiful the sky is. Look at that. Look at that gradient. What? It's such a happening place over here today. I'm trying to steal someone's food there. It's like crazy here, huh, baby? Look at this doggy just waiting for me. Are you okay, Billy? Yeah. You don't like the music playing over there? <laughs> like so far, five people that I walk past, I hear them going, that's a pretty dog. Yeah, you are, Bentley, you're so handsome. Are you exhausted? I am. I need to take another shower already. <laughs> I'm eating my salad from Pluto's. Look who's, what? Are you cereal? Nah, uh, uh. No, no, this is mine. Mm-mm-mm, mm, nope. Okay guys, I'm heading to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Starring Ryan Long <laughs> in the Battle of the Bugs. Where they? There were like so many of them. Die. It looks Die. like Ryan's not... It looks like I'm going crazy. Yeah, it just looks like you're just going crazy. There's a lot of little bugs flying around. Hey, you scared them away, dude.